Hey, hey, y'all. Going to talk about a winter squash variety today that I tried. Uh, when the pandemic hit, a lot of us started thinking about uh, food, food security, and I did as well. And I think winter squash is a great crop for food security, so I tried it. For years, I've been wanting to try a variety called Seminole Pumpkin. It's an heirloom. I think it might be, might even be a land race. Uh, and I couldn't find it because when the pandemic hit, a lot of seeds sold out really quick. Uh, but this company, Southern Exposure Seed Exchange, they do a lot of work with heirlooms. They carry the Seminole Pumpkin, but they were sold out. I want to look through the other seed descriptions they have. They have a hybrid that they're working on this this right here is called south anna butternut and it's a winter squash it's still in the breeding process and it's a cross between the seminole pumpkin and the butternut squash and it's still not completed but they've released it to the public so there may be a little genetic variation in it but i'm cool with that and we'll kind of look at the vines and see what kind of production i'm getting and we'll take account even though that count may not be what I harvest at the end of the season. Well, I've got them growing here in the alleyway amongst all the weeds and stuff, which I said I wasn't going to let grow up in here this year. But I just took a set of post hole diggers and dug a hole in there, put some better dirt in there, some fertilizer, and that's pretty much it. Planted the seeds, and I have probably three or four vines going everywhere. Let's do a count. I'm going to count everything that's recognizable as a squash, even though I may not harvest them all. One, two, three, uh, four. Okay, that's a new one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine ten so that was ten from this little area so i have some over in the horse panel and some over here in the garden get these over in the horse panel next so there is eleven some of these are going to be little twelve can i count that one yeah i'll count it thirteen 14, 15, 16. Now we're back in the garden. So, 17, 18. Pretty nice one. 19. So, 19 fruits that I counted. I guarantee you there's more than that, so there's 19 potential. Uh, now I'm going to harvest a couple. A lot of people will tell you that it's necessary to wait till the vines die and frost hits till you harvest these. I think there's a certain amount of truth that the fruit will cure to a certain point and it'll season better. Fact is, I want to cut these, uh, and if these sit out here in this heat and humidity after they're ripe, I'm not going to be able to harvest them anyway. So maybe I'll just eat these first ones quick, but it'll be fun to do, and y'all can see what we got. I'm going to harvest this guy. This is one of the first ones to put on, and it's tan colored, so it should be close enough. Not bad. Looks just like the butternut parent. Uh, all of them do pretty much, and we'll get this guy. Right down the vine from the other one. And you see why I wanted to harvest it. It's already got somebody's trying to eat on it. And about the same size, butternut looking thing. Uh, good weight, good color, other than the bug bites. All right, Salfana butternut squash, a cross between the butternut and Seminole pumpkin. Hope y'all like that. Before I go, I want to make one more announcement. This will be my last video for a little while until I get back from my trip. A lot of that has already changed. Uh, you will see it when I get through the trip and get it filmed and put up. It's going to be pretty wild.
So y'all be good. Appreciate you watching. Bye.